Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about appraisal waivers and waiving the contingency that comes with an appraisal. And the reason I want to talk about this is because we are in such a competitive market right now. Inventory is historically low, as you probably have heard. You've even heard me say it because I know I've said it on other videos and we are still in that situation. So because of that, when you go out to see a house, it is going to be more than likely that you will have be going up against multiple offers. The house will have multiple offers on that. And because of that, a lot of times these offers are going to be accompanied with an appraisal waiver. So if you're going out to buy a house for the first time, or maybe you have bought a couple houses before, but you're not familiar with appraisal waivers, that's why I want to talk about this today, because it is happening on every offer that I go up against at every price point. So what an appraisal waiver is, it's tied to the financing contingency that you have with your lender. So when your lender says, I'm going to give you a loan for, let's just say $400,000, you're going to get a $400,000 loan for a house. The lender wants to see the house appraised for $400,000 hundred thousand dollars because they're not going to lend you that money unless that's what they deem to be the value of the home, right? Well, in this competitive market that we're in, people are going way over asking price and kind of really ignoring what the comps are saying and really what that value of the house might be if you just looked at the comps that are on the market and probably not appraising. So because of that, when you put in an offer that's gonna be over asking, a lot of times the sellers are going to want to see what they call an appraisal waiver. So the appraisal waiver is saying, Mr. Seller, I know that you've listed your house, or Mrs. Seller, could be either one. I know you've listed your house for 400,000, but I wanna pay you 450,000. Well, that sounds fantastic, doesn't it? It's not really fantastic if the seller isn't sure that it's gonna appraise for 450,000, because that money is not really guaranteed. If it only appraises at 410, then your lender is gonna say, okay, we're still only going to lend you on 410, not on the 450. But the seller wants to know that you can come up with that difference. So that's where these appraisal waivers are coming in. Basically, as a buyer, you're saying to the seller, it doesn't matter if this doesn't appraise at 400, I'm gonna still pay you 450. So there are a couple different ways you can do an appraisal waiver. One is a full waiver. And the full waiver would mean that this value of the home it's for sale for 400, it could come in at 300. You're still buying it for 450. And you need to make sure that you have the cash on hand to come up with that difference. Because remember, the lender is only going to lend you the money on the appraised value, okay? So that's one option. A second option is that you could do a partial waiver. So what a partial waiver is, and this might feel more comfortable to you if you're a first time home buyer and you're just not really wanting to, to say, it doesn't matter what the appraisal is, but you really want the home. So consider this as another option, but really what a partial waiver is, is kind of a backstop on that amount. So let's say you have a house that's listed, again, we'll stay with the 400,000 example, listed for 400,000, you're offering 450,000, and you're telling Mr. Seller, hey, it only needs to appraise at 400. As long as it appraises at 400, we're still buying it, we'll come up with the 50,000. And you can kind of set that amount wherever you feel comfortable. So say you're offering 450, you're talking to your realtor, your realtor feels good about the comps, you all agree this looks like it's a good value. We're gonna go ahead and offer 450, but we're gonna do a partial appraisal waiver at 390, or you could do it at 425. Whatever it is that you have enough cash to come up with the difference is what you're gonna go ahead and submit it with. So you have a little bit of a backstop. You're not just, this house is not gonna come at 200 and you're paying 450. That would be the reason to do a partial waiver. So that's another way to be competitive. And just remember, this is attractive to the seller to do these appraisal waivers. This doesn't mean that if you, that you aren't getting an appraisal. The bank is still going to do an appraisal for the house and you still want the value to be as high as possible. So if you're doing one of these appraisal waivers, another thing that I wanna make sure that you know about is talk to your realtor, make sure that they're putting together kind of an appraisal packet for the appraisers. A lot of times, Sometimes listing agents will be doing this because they want the house to also appraise for as much as possible. But in this competitive market, have an agent that's also going to be helping you out, reaching out to the appraiser ahead of time with this package, just letting them know, hey, here's where we came up with this number. These are the houses that we compared it to. Appraisers are very smart. They go through a lot of training and classes themselves, so they are keeping up with the market, but it doesn't hurt to offer some support. So those are the things I wanted to mention just about appraisal waivers. Again, work with a knowledgeable realtor who is in this market every day because they're going to know that that's going to be on the table in most of these competitive um, multiple offer situations. So that's what I have for you today. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Please email me, send me a comment, whatever, however you want to get a hold of me, and I will see you next time.